Okay, I have a question for all of you. Who is your favorite superhero? Okay, maybe when I come and visit class later this week, you can share with me who your favorite superheroes are. I asked Father Hamilton. Any guesses? He's a Batman guy. Yeah, he's a Batman guy. I, I'm more of a Thor guy, but uh, it'd be really good to hear all of your favorite superheroes and maybe why they're your favorite superhero. In today's gospel, we hear two of the superheroes that people in the Old Testament have. We hear two different superheroes. We hear Jonah, and we heard what happened in today's first reading with Jonah. Jonah went to like the, the worst city ever, the city that was like so, so bad, and he told them to change their ways, and the entire city, even all the animals, they totally changed. So he was like, everyone was amazed at this guy Jonah. It was like, it would be, like, be like going to Las Vegas and converting it into like the Vatican. It's like, oh my goodness, this is like the coolest guy ever. He, he just said something to them and they were totally changed. So some people are like, Jonah, he's like my guy, like that's my superhero. Or Solomon, that was the second superhero we heard. Solomon was the wealthiest guy ever. He built the greatest temple and he was the smartest guy as well. So some people are like, no, Solomon, he's, he's my boy. Like, that's the, that's the coolest guy ever. What's really interesting is that Jesus names both of these superheroes, Jonah and Solomon. He says, something greater than Solomon is here. Something greater than Jonah is here. See, if you were to add up all of your favorite superheroes on one side, and then you put Jesus on the other side, Jesus is greater than all superheroes combined. Think about that. If you were to add up all your favorite superheroes, the whole class named all of them, and then you put Jesus on the other side, Jesus is greater than all of them. And what's so, so cool about this is that Jesus actually wants to be your friend. Like, imagine that. If your favorite superhero, like, called you up and said, hey, like, do you want to be friends? Do you want to hang out? You'd just be amazed. Imagine if Batman called Father Hamilton, he'd be like, cool. But Jesus, that's what Jesus is doing for each one of us. And in Lent, we get to realize that you are worth dying for. That's what Jesus wants to tell each one of you. The greatest person in the whole world thought that you, by name, are worth dying for. So that's what we get to focus on during Lent. That the greatest person ever, greater than all the superheroes in the whole wide world combined, wants to be your friend and says that you are worth dying for. 